नेक्स्ट बिल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 अमेंडमेंट ऑफ आर्टिकल 153 एंड सब्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 155 एंड 156 डॉक्टर वी शिवदासन टू मूव फॉर ए मोशन ऑफ कंसिडरेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 प्लीज प्लीज शेयर सर यस आप बोले दो सर इस पे कुछ बोलना चाहते हो बोले मोशन मूव करने के पहले आई मोशन मूव करना है आई आई मूव द मोशन यू मूव द बिल या मूव द बिल ओके सो मोशन मूव्ड सो नाउ इट बी इट विल बी ओपन फॉर डिस्कशन माननीय संजय सिंह सर आई सर सर आई लाइक टू स्पीक फर्स्ट I like to speak on. So, मैंने आपसे अनुरोध किया था बोलने के लिए. Because of the confusion, sir. Sorry for that. Okay, okay. So, sorry for that. क्योंकि संजय सिंह नहीं है अगर वो बोलने के लिए खड़े हो गए होते तो मैं मौका नहीं दे पाता. I. पर आप बोले. Respect to chair. Here, I would like to present, I think, very important subject here. This, if we look the history, governor is a position which has been there since colonial times. the role of governors is colonial india was the suppression and oppression of indian people sir the governors who were ruling the provinces under governor general were like kings they took all the powers to themselves leaving uh, hardly anything for the elected or nominated members of the council sir even when a little bit of representation was given to indians the governors retained their autocratic position why sir the british colonial rulers thought that we the indians were not capable to stand on our own feet they thought we are not enlightened to guide ourselves so like a child to be guided by elders we were considered minors to guided and controlled and taught by the great english man sir this colonial vision was racist and undemocratic so once cn session was offered the position of a governor and he refused and to t refused to, to take it and uh, a journalist asked why then a very uh, then he has given the, he had given the answer so why you are not taking up the position of governor this is a question from the journalist and tn chechen in humorous way said if i become governor my wife will become governess being a governess is good job but the governor should not treat the government as child in fact our governors are actually acting like our elected ministers are not mature sir they are encroaching on their constitutional boundaries governors think that positions governors think that the position still has the power it had in the colonial era sir if nehru or ambedkar happen to come to india today and they are first taken to the raj bhavan then they think that they have gone to the british india sir because the same colonial mindset is adopted and practiced by many governors in india because they have thought that this would be this would be impartial and neutral position which will be used a very dignified man sir i want to remember a, a name of a governor here the governor of madhya pradesh hp padaskar then the chief minister was late kedarnath kajju and the prime minister was nehru nehru came to madhya pradesh and he criticized the chief minister considering some law and order issues the governor wrote back to the nehru he defended him the chief minister and said that the pm is not supposed to, to criticize the chief minister in such a manner sir but what is happening today 
So there were many debates about should the governor be selected, whether he should be elected or nominated. In fact, the first suggestion by Sri B. N. Rao was for election, ele, election of governor. And the power, removal of the governor was vested with the state legislator. But this plan was rejected by Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Do you know, sir, why? Ambedkar rejected and he told us, Baba Sahib thought that since the position of governor is so powerless. So then he added that no, no one will be ready to contest the post of governor. Ambedkar said that the power of governor were only nominal. He has no discretionary powers. That is why I am saying that Ambedkar will be shocked to see is happening in our country today. Sir, so finally, it was decided that the governors will be appointed by the president. And I was expected that the union government will always consult the state before appointing the governor. Jawaharlal Nehru made it clear that the governor should be a person acceptable to the provinces. So, Aladi Krishnaya expected that a convention will develop whereby the governor will be appointed by consulting states as happens in Australia and Canada. At that time, he told us. What did Ambedkar say about governors? He clearly said that governors are to be nominal heads. The first thing in Constituent Assembly, he told us, the first thing I quoted, the first thing I would like the House to bear in mind this, the governor under the Constitution has no functions which he can discharge by himself in no functions at all. Even under this article, the governor is bound to accept advice of the cabinet. Therefore, the criticism that has been made that this article somehow enables the governors to interfere or to upset the decision of the cabinet is entirely beside the point and completely mistaken and caught. But as, as a euphemism, the doctrine of pleasure was retained in the Constitution. But, sir, this came from the Constitution of India Act 1935. According to Article 164, the Council of Ministers shall hold the power during the pressure of the governor. In fact, H.N. Kunstru, in Constitutional Assembly, said that this was an unpleasant reminder of the past. Sir? The doctrine of pleasure is an anachronism. In India, the post of governor and his or her powers, functions are the major issues since independence. Father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, told us on the importance of decentralization and Grama Swaraj. Sir, we had derived our concept of decentralization or autonomy of administration, including the village by the national movement. Sir, the forefathers of the nation raised a flag of unity in diversity. It is the spirit of the national movement. Sir, unity in diversity is the fundamental spirit of our nation. So we are thinking the diversity is the strength of us. But the criticism on our nation is there. Criticism on the constitution of is there. It's the federal, it is in the federal in form, but it is more unitary in, uh, is in this character. Sir, strengthening the federal system 
is necessary for meeting the aspirations of the people. So, therefore, center state relations, the arrangements or the power distribution between the union and the states, union government and the state governments is very crucial to maintain the peaceful atmosphere within the uh, relationship. The concentration of powers, functions, and responsibilities have always been crucial uh, and always uh, cre creating the many kind of problems. Uh, experience proves the legislative, administrative, and financial powers are disproportionately dis concentrated in the uh, hands of the union government. So, but the states having a large number of responsibilities without sufficient financial support or autonomy. Sir, so the significant socio-economic and political changes occurring in the post-independence era. So, center-state relationship have also undergone some changes. Sir, so the period since 1991, which witnessed a paradigm shift in the uh, economic strategy, uh, form of planet development, and to a market is a planet development to a market oriented development we are seeing here. It also thrown up new issues cha and challenges in front of the uh, federal structure. So this great impact on the functioning of democracy as well as the well-being of the people. So, so, a, so a thorough restructuring of center-state relationship is very necessary in this current period. <coughs> it should be in order to conquer, correct existing imbalance of the power distribution within the state and center. That will empower the states, if states empowered, automatically the pupils will get the benefit. If genuine autonomy is there, then the states will achieve new goals and state will be able to create new space of developments. So, I'm sure the discussion on this bill will make more spaces on the necessity of the post of governor, that I'm sure the discussion and debate on the post of governor and the work and the administrative powers, everything is debated everywhere in the legislative assemblies. So, and it will create the initiative for the discussion on center state relationship and among the political parties and organizations. So, I'm, uh, we all know the uh, state structure in India is federal in name. But most of the powers and resources are concentrated in the hands of the union government. So the anti-democratic provisions of Article 356 of the Constitution is one of the examples here. To dismiss elected state governments and dissolve the elected state assemblies, it is a, is a threat to the federal and democratic sector of our country. It is a major instrument for suburbing the federal system and the autonomy of the states. The states enjoy little power. It makes them dependent on the central government. It exercises their development. Therefore, the contradictions between the union government and the states have grown. Sir, the government of West Bengal had adopted a 15-point uh, memorandum in 1977, seeking a relationship of central state relations. Many other political parties, since their inspection, have also stood for a restructuring of central state relationship and greater federal autonomy. Sir, 
the Srinagar Conclave in 1983 brought together parties like DMK, TDP, Akali Dal, Republican Party of India, the Assam Jadi Bhadi Dal, and JNK National Conference, along with the left parties. There also power distribution, power of the governance was one of the core subjects. In his note at that time, Jodi Basu told, Jodi Basu said, contrary to what is generally argued, the devolution of economic powers, resources, and decision making instead of weakening the center would actually strengthen the base. So the major areas identified at Srinagar Conclave, which have been rep repeatedly endorsed by subsequent conference of the chief ministers related to the administrative, legislative, and financial spheres. In the administrative field, the major issues were the where the abuse of Article 356, the sending of central forces to the states without their concurrence and the role of governance, governors. The major issues in the legislative sphere related to the to introduce by the center into state list subject and delays in obtaining assents for important bills passed by the state. Sir, the bill which passed the assemblies, legislative assemblies, after the thorough discussion, but the governor are keeping it in their pocket. This also we are seeing in each and every state in India. In the financial sphere, the major issues related to increasing centralization of powers in the union government. In, uh, it, made, it matters like resources, mobilization, and allocation, other key areas of economic decision making like planning. With the demand of restructuring, the central state relationship gathering momentum, the union government had also set up the Sarkaria Commission in 1983. This commission took about uh, five years to submit its report. Its recommendations failed to resolve most of the basic issues mentioned above. Sir, expect the some minor improvements in the financial uh, sphere, such as giving powers to the municipalities to issue tax-free bonds, endorsing the chief minister's decisions on considering consignment tax, extending, strict, ex extending slightly the time limit frame for overdraft uh, loans extra. It is unfortunate that even these recommendations of the Sarkaria Commission have not been implemented by the union government after nearly four decades. So, even then, not only have the major problems uh, not been resolved, but new problems have also emerged. Many commissions and committees were appointed by appointed on the central state relation in different periods. The states were not consulted prior to the formation of these uh, commissions or committees neither the terms of reference nor the composition of commission. This all kind of things we are seeing, uh, we were uh, seeing in the nation. Sir, the union government set up a commission on center state relationship in April 2007 with former Chief Justice M.M. Punji as the chairperson. Uh, the Punji Commission report we are discussing now recently uh, each and every state that governor issue everybody is quoting the Punji Commission's recommendations. The terms of uh, the terms of reference of the commission uh, did not reflect the long-standing demands 
of the states. The great devolution of financial powers, especially the increase of the states, a share in tax revenue, transfer of centrally sponsored schemes to the states, and uh, alleviation of the debt burden of the states. On the other hand, the, name, the terms of references included the issue of Sumoto, uh, interference of law in order, and deployment of central forces, which is an, ins which is an insertion into the jurisdiction of the states. Sir, here the Punji Commission has made uh, some noted recommendations, comments on the appointment of and powers of the governor. In the history of India, the governors are the main culprit of the repeated misuse of administrative and legislative spheres. It is proved the use of the provisions of Article 356 of the Constitution to dismiss 356 of the of the Constitution to dismiss the state governments and dissolve state assemblies by the by the uh, governors. Their demand to restrict restrict the use of yeah. Restrict government and dissolve the state assemblies by the governors. The demand to restrict the use of Article 356 only to cases where there is a, a serious threat to national unity or the secular fabric of the country has been uh, raised from various quarters in the nation. In this August House, many of the members uh, from different political parties uh, had raised the same uh, in different manner. And it was discussed in the meeting of the interstate councils. The state legislative assemblies also discussed. In view of the Supreme Court judgment on SR Bombay case, there is an urgent need to build strong safeguard in Article 356 and 365 through appropriate amendments of the Constitution. However, no decision has been taken by the Union government in this regard. There is a, another matter, general deployment of paramilitary forces in the state unilaterally. The, proven, the provenance of Article 355 needs to be clarified. It has been repeatedly sussed by the uh, several states. The governors are making the communications without consulting the state government. It was utilized uh, sabotage the state government. The state had the exp the state had the ex uh, various experiences. The term internal disturbance in Article 355 is related to public order. What is the first entry in the state list? That is the first entry in the state list. The proposal for central uh, deployment of paramilitary forces in a state in a situation which the center would consider as internal disturbance. Without the state uh, concurrence in, is, not act, is unacceptable. Article 355 should be amended on the lines suggested above the Article 356. Sir? We should take an initiative for the discussion of the appointment and role of govern governors. If the post of nominee, nom post of uh, no nominated governor is needed, then one suggestion is to collect the three names from the chief minister of concerned state. If you need the elected governor, then an election should be conducted. An electoral college should be constituted with the members of the legislative assembly and the representative of the local self-governments. None of the major countries of the world with a federal constitution have any provision for the post of governor uh, in a state 
uh, to be appointed by the center. There should also be a time limit with regard to governor's assent, a bill passed by the state assemblies. Moreover, the uh, requirement of an explicit norm debating, uh, debarring governors from publicly expressing disagreement or differences with the state government also not uh, to be uh, debated. There is also a need to review whether the governor should continue to be ex officio chancellors of state uh, universities. In Kerala, the governor, after making the appointment, is asking the vice chancellors to resign. There is no power for the governor acting as chancellor to ask vice chancellor to resign. Uh, legislative powers for state is curtailing through the interventions in, of union government through the governor. Residuary power is one of the issue in the case. It is in the hand of the union government. Now, uh, the residuary powers of legislation uh, should be placed in the state list. Sir, a process of consultation between the center and the state needs to be institutionalized on legislations under the concurrent list. The constitution should also be amended uh, to set defined time limits uh, for receiving the assent of governors or president in the case of bill passed by the state assemblies. Governors are sitting on the legislations passed by the state assemblies in utter disregard to Article 200 of the Constitution. Various examples from the states of Kerala and Tamil Nadu, including the NEET bill from Tamil Nadu and Lokayukta amendment bill from Kerala extra. Governors of various states are behaving as a political <coughs> actors and are not impartial and independent in their exercise of constitutional duties. Sir, the recent comment by the governor of Kerala that Kerala ministers may invite actions including withdrawal of pleasure. If they lower the dignity of the governor's office, has uh, reignited the debate on the counters of power that a governor holds under the constitution. The chief minister of Kerala was quick to retort. He asserted that the governor held only limited powers and cannot act contrary to the aid and advice of the uh, council of ministers. The governor of Kerala then escalated the issue of uh, communicating to the chief minister that he has withdrawn the pleasure of finance minister serving in the cabinet. <coughs> the chief minister have rejected the governor's demand. Sir, the controversy poses several uh, questions of larger constituent purport, whether the governor can act in uh, whatever manner he uh, places, pleases. In Shamsher Singh versus State of Punjab, the Supreme Court has uh, held that the governor has to act in acting aid and advice of the Council of Ministers only, and that the governors have very limited discretionary powers. The silence, uh, the silence in the Constitution regarding the pleasure of the governors is misused by the governors these days to carry forward the agenda of union government. Sir, the governor is only a titular head and can only act as one. B.R. Ambedkar has said that governor is only a ceremonial device. According to the Supreme Court of Nation, uh, Constitution bench judgment in 
Napam Rabia versus Deputy Speaker of Arunajal Assembly. The functions, duties and powers of the governor by or under the constitution are cabinet crypt and confined. Honorable member. It is. Honorable member. Yes. The Constitution Amendment Bill 2022 further proceedings will continue for the next allotted day, that is 23rd December 2022. Thank you, sir. The private member state. Thank you, sir. We'll take up the next work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Special mentions.